Let me just tell you, in my entire career, I have seen so many students who have changed the game in the last few months. And I have also seen so many students who couldn't crack need and they were preparing for this competition from so many years, but couldn't crack need or, or we say JE. You know what was the reason behind that? Because they were not serious at the end moment. They didn't show the dedication at the end moment. So that's, that became the reason they lagged. And now in this particular video, I'll be telling you, if you give the dedication in these last 80 days, in these three months, definitely you can be among those students who have cracked before and who have changed the entire scenario. There are so many students that come to me right now who say, sir, I don't think I would be able to crack me. Let me go for the next attempt next year. I say to them, if you will not give your 100% as of now, tomorrow also you will not give your 100%. Even you will not give your 50% only. So if you have to crack this need, if be it today or be it tomorrow, you have to give your 100% today only. So in this particular video, I will be telling you the most realistic plan that will help you to get into a medical college that will help you to enter the medical college. Okay, provided you have to give me your dedication provided you have to basically follow a proper plan or the proper strategy, which so many students of mine have done before and they crack the need. That's what we're going to discuss in this particular video over here. Do share it with your friends and do like this video. Let me know in the comments down below. Now, listen to me very carefully, my dear friends. We are talking about the 80 days. We have the 80 days left. Okay. If you say, sir, I have to start from, I haven't studied anything. We are not talking about those students as of now. Let me talk about the serious need aspirants who definitely have the aim to crack the need in need 2024. So I am talking about the students who have almost completed their 50%, 60% or 70% or 80% syllabus as of now. That is the first category. 50%, 60%, 70%, 80%. The next category is we say who have completed the entire syllabus. I'll be talking about these two category of people, what they are supposed to do for the next 80 days in order to enter the medical college. Listen to me very carefully. The first thing is there are two categories. First category is their syllabus is incomplete that I told you. The second category is their syllabus is completed. Okay. Now let's talk about the first category of people first, what they are supposed to do. Listen to me very carefully. The first thing that you guys are supposed to do as of now, you have to complete your syllabus. That is syllabus completion. Plus you have to cover your backlogs. How much amount of time you are supposed to give in this? We say in the 30 days, in first 30 days, you are supposed to complete your syllabus and backlogs. Then the remaining 30 days, what you are supposed to do is you have to do the revisions because the revisions are very important when it comes to any competition. This will only help you. Then we say 30 plus 30 is 60 and then we have remaining 15 to 20 days, let me say. So we say in these 20 days, you are supposed to give the full length mock test. That is full syllabus mock test. Sir, shall we not give the, shall we not give the test while this preparation? We say yes, that can be those tests can be the minor test. Those tests can be the unit wise test. But when it comes to the end moment, you have to give the full length text. Uh, that's for 15 to 20 days. Now, my dear friends, the point is how we are supposed to, how we are supposed to do it, how we are going to do it in this, in this journey. So we say every single day you have to study for 12 to 15 hours, depends upon you, 12 to 15 hours. Okay. Now, my dear friends, we say nine hours, you guys are supposed to basically complete the syllabus, cover the syllabus that can be through the marathons. Okay. That can be through uh, with the help of the crash course that we have recently launched. Okay. And most importantly, you have to first focus on the high weighted chapters because every single time I say to you, in order to enter the safe score, you have to first focus on the high weighted chapters. And then comes basically the rest of the five hours. In these five hours, you have to complete the backlogs. And these backlogs, it should be in such a way that you have to cover, like for Monday, you'll be studying the physics. For Tuesday, you'll be covering the backlogs of chemistry. For Thursday, you'll be, for Wednesday, you'll be covering the backlogs of biology. It's not like every single day you'll be covering the biology, chemistry, as well as physics. No. For one day specifically, you'll keep it physics. For next day, you'll be keeping it chemistry. Okay. This is how you are supposed to categorize the syllabus over here. Now, let's suppose you have completed 80% to 85% of your syllabus in this journey. Or if you have completed the entire syllabus, then that is a good thing. 
But let's suppose there are some students who say, sir, I couldn't cover the entire syllabus. I covered 80 to 85 percent syllabus in these 30 days only. Now, sir, what am I supposed to do? Now you have to stop over there. Okay, my dear friends, listen to me very carefully. I told you, focus on the high weighted chapters first. Cover those high weighted chapters first. Now, let's suppose you have completed the 80 to 85 percent of your syllabus or some people have covered the complete syllabus what you are supposed to do is you have to go for the revisions right now okay stop it now you have to go for the revisions and make sure you start the revisions with the weaker sections means which those chapters which you have forgotten if you do the revision of those chapters later on maybe you'll forget those forget those chapters completely and you would not be able to revise them properly that's why we say start the revision with the weaker section start the revision with the weaker chapters which you have almost forgotten and then you guys are supposed to revise these chapters with your handwritten notes and handwritten notes you have to make while you are completing the syllabus over here because at the end moment completing the entire syllabus within a, a small amount of time we say short notes will help you in that okay then then we say afterwards you have to give the tests and the tests you guys are supposed to give for 15 to 20 days and we say one day one full length mock test you guys are supposed to give okay and let's suppose you are giving the test afterwards you have to analyze the mistakes you have to analyze that particular result okay you have to see in which portion i lagged in which portion i couldn't basically solve the questions then you have to analyze those mistakes and basically solo them once again in order to basically increase your score this is very much mandatory that is the test analysis okay now let's talk about the category number two that's the second category they have already completed the syllabus they have already completed the syllabus now the first thing what they are supposed to do is they are supposed to revise over here and then they are supposed to give the tests these are the two two things they have to exactly focus on the first thing is we say over here they have to go with the unit wise revision so how we are supposed to go with the unit wise, uh, unit wise revision like first you have to complete one unit of biology then you have to complete one unit of the chemistry then you have to complete one chapter of physics this is how you are supposed to go and once you complete the entire syllabus first you have to cover the unit wise once you complete the entire syllabus afterwards you have to basically go for the full syllabus revision okay like complete physics complete chemistry, complete biology. This is what you are supposed to do afterwards. And all of this you guys are supposed to do in the 50 days. Because I'm talking about the second category, you also have 80 days left. So we say for the 50 days, you have to do this particular process for the 50 days. Sir, shall we give the test during this particular process? We say yes. You can go for the test like unit wise test. You can go for the, we say portion wise test. Okay, that you can go over here. Or, and and most importantly afterwards uh, you once you are done with this entire process over here then you are supposed to move on the test okay then you are supposed to move on the test okay now the test you have to give for the 30 days you can go for if you have done the mock unit wise mock test over here then I would say I would say during those tests only you have to determine the weaker areas Keep this thing exactly in your mind. You have to determine the weaker areas. In which portion I was lagging, in which portion I was strong, okay? If you are lagging in some portion, you have to basically solve more problems than that. And you can, you have to see if the questions I am solving, whether they are completely from NCRT or out of the NCRT when it comes to the biology and chemistry. And in physics, I have been telling you, every single time you are supposed to solve the questions, exercise, you are supposed to solve the solved, problems in from the ncrt and the exercise which is mentioned at the end okay and then we say you are, you guys are supposed to go for the full syllabus mock test these are very much important why am i saying full syllabus mock test again and again because this will help you to increase your time management this will help you to basically uh, solo the question paper within a very less amount of time okay this will help you to become mentally strong because tomorrow if you'll sit in the examination hall over there the anxiety level increases if you have given the full syllabus mock test before if you have given the tests in which the uh, in which the good level of problems were included then in the examination hall tomorrow you will not face any sort of problem that's why we say you have to go for the full syllabus mock test and the time duration should be exactly same you get in the in the neat examination
okay and this is what you are supposed to do in these days okay in these next 80 days for the second category okay so for first category i said if you have completed 50 percent 60 percent 70 percent 80 percent syllabus then you guys are supposed to do this and then we say the next category is basically who have completed their syllabus now my dear friends listen to me very carefully as i told you I have seen so many students who have changed the entire scenario, who have changed the entire game. They were not sure that, that whether they would crack this particular NEET examination or not, but the, at the end moment, they played very smartly and they cracked the need because they, they, they made the proper plan or the proper strategy. That became the reason they cracked the need. And there are so many students I have seen who have been working on this from so many years. But when it comes to the end moment, they didn't do the revisions. They didn't go for the test properly. And that became the reason they lagged. Otherwise, their syllabus was completed. Everything was sorted. Revisions were done. But still, because of some silly mistakes, they lagged over there. So I, 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 that's why I'm advising you over here in this particular video, focus on these 80 days, definitely you will get selected in the NEET in the upcoming time. So now is the time guys, okay, started. And if there are some students who say, sir, I, I don't think I would be able to crack this NEET this year, but at least you can give your 100%. Even if you get like a score 490, 450, by giving your 100%, that gives the assurity that tomorrow you'll crack the NEET, that's for sure. If, if, if we say you'll not give your 100% today, you'll get the score, let's suppose 250. Can you expect that tomorrow in the next year you'll be completing this particular, you'll be clearing this particular examination? No. That's why I say give your 100% as of now. Tomorrow you'll get the seat, that's for sure. Okay, so thank you so much. This was all about it. I want you guys to basically let me know which chapter should I complete in the next session okay and most importantly my dear friends do like this video and do comment in the uh, comment section down below thank you so much this was all about it